it's monday november 29 2021 good day and welcome to the news update on us television i am bina here nothing the news in detail the nigerian correctional service located in jazz the plateau state capital has come under attack from government suspected to be bandits it was reported that the attackers who stormed the facility on sunday afternoon shot heavily forcing nearby residents to flee for safety confirming the attack the spokesperson of the plateau state police command gabriel ogba however said security operatives have taken care of the situation speaking of the incident the controller of corrections pro francis enobori said the attackers opened fire on the security operatives guarding the correctional center before they gained entrance Enobori added that the attackers were trapped inside the facility as reinforcement from sister security agencies arrived before they could exit. The Nigerian Police Force, NPF, has arrested a senior immigration officer, Abdullahi Osman, over the raid on the home of Justice Mary Odili. It was gathered that the immigration officer will be taken to court this week alongside a journalist banker, lawyer, a fake policeman, and seven others. Fifteen suspects were arrested and paraded earlier on for allegedly taking part in an illegal raid on the home of Justice Mary Odili. The officer, Frank Umba, said approval had been given for all the suspects to be arraigned. Moving on, the Quara State Fire Service has reported that it saved two petrol tankers loaded with 66,000 liters of fuel from an explosion during an accident on Ilori Jeba Road in Kwara State during the weekend. The fire service in a statement by its set of media and publicity, Hassan Adekunle on Sunday said that the two petrol tankers had a head-on collision in the road accident that occurred at Kambi Oloru on Ilori Jeba Express Road on Saturday. He said it was a head-on collision between the two vehicles loaded with 33,000 liters of fuel each. We prevented the tankers from exploding thanks to the firemen. Most importantly, no lives were lost in the accident. Adekule said that the fire department gathered that the accident was caused as a result of careless overtaking by one of the drivers. He however said the director Kwara State Fire Service Prince Falade Olumuiwa urged drivers, in particular transporters, to always exercise patience whenever they were driving on the road. A lecturer at the Federal Polytechnic, Offa Kwara State, reportedly died while attending a community meeting on Sunday evening. The disease was identified as Ayatsu Momo. Momo, a lecturer in the institution's Department of Mass Communication, hailed from Kogi State and was secretary of Igala Local Community in Offa. He was attending the community's meeting when the incident happened. A lecturer in the department who wants to remain anonymous confirmed that he slumped and died while attending Igala Community Meeting at Offa on Sunday. He was the secretary of the community in Offa. But finally on sports, Anthony Joshua says he will consider stepping aside to let Alexander Osik fight the unified heavyweight world champion, Tyson Fury. Joshua is set to fight Osik for a second time next spring after losing his WBA, WBO, IBF and IBO belt on an unanimous points decision in front of a sellout crowd at London's Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in September. However, Fury has called for his fellow countryman, Joshua, to step aside to allow an undisputed heavyweight title fight to take place between himself and Usyk. Joshua is adamant on getting his revenge, having told his promoter, Eddie Hearn, to trash out terms with Usyk. However, he has admitted he will be open to stepping aside if it makes sense financially. Speaking further, he said, the second is to go down as a throwback fighter, someone who was willing to fight the best in their division, so that when he walks the streets with his son, cousin, and nephews, people will know he's a real fighter. 
in terms of stepping aside he doesn't know if that goes in line with what he morally stands for but he wants to be known as one of the smartest businessmen as well he stated that i want to make the smart decisions and if the money is right we would have to look at it but respect has more value than money will i take the step aside money if it's a smart business move will it affect my reputation and respect will i still get to fight the best fighters those are the three things he has to consider he concluded well this is the news update on viewers television ensure you follow us across our social media platforms on youtube instagram and facebook we are viewers tv ninja my name is Bina here thanks for watching